Hi, this is Dennis with TheSoundAdvisor.com. I want to talk about the Bomb Factory BF76 Peak Limiter Compressor that comes with Pro Tools. Now, this is a software compressor that's based off of the Universal Audio 1176 compressor. So, first look at this. If you've ever looked at another compressor, there's something missing. There's a button, there's a knob missing, and that's the threshold. Now, if I look at the stock one that comes with Pro Tools, You've all seen something like this. And this line right here represents the threshold, the point at which the compressor will start compressing on the audio signal. And I can lower that threshold by turning this knob this way or raise that threshold turning it that way. So if I turn that threshold down, my guitar won't be ha have to be as loud for the compressor to start compressing. When I bring it up, the guitar will have to be at a loud point for the compressor to start hitting that signal. So if I go back to the Bomb Factory plugin, there's not a threshold. So we actually create sort of a threshold through this input knob over here. So that's like essentially the amount of level that you're going to be sending into the compressor. So if I were to turn the input up, I'm now sending more of my guitar into the compressor. So essentially lowering that threshold. And if I bring this knob down, I'm raising that threshold. Okay, so now the next knob is the output, and that's simply to make up the gain that you've lost by your compression. So a compressor will take off a couple dB, say, of your level, and you can simply just bring this up a couple dB to compensate so your fader in Pro Tools can remain the same as it was. Now the next two knobs right here are the attack and release. Now in the hardware version of this, these were kind of magical knobs, and because this is where the first compressor where you could crank up the attack and actually turning it clockwise all the way up creates a very fast attack, sort of counterintuitive. So back this way, it's a very slow attack, and this is the fast. So that's how fast the compressor will start compressing on the signal once it goes over the threshold. And the release, and it's the same thing if I turn it all the way up, it's a very quick release time. So the compressor will stop compressing once it drops below that threshold very quickly. And this way, very slowly. The compressor, you'll still hear it for, say, a second after that signal drops below the threshold. So these buttons right here were the other magic ingredient to this compressor. These are your ratios. So you have a 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and 20 to 1. Now a nice gentle compression is a 4 to 1. You might want to put it on, the, on a guitar or vocal or something like that as you would an 8 to 1. And then when you start to get up to these two, 12 to 1 is still kind of compression. When you get to 20 to 1, you're talking about limiting. And that's sort of like when you hit that threshold, it's not going to allow anything to go over that threshold. As with these ratios, when you hit that threshold, it's going to allow it to go over gently. And this one's going to clamp down harder on it. This one's going to clamp down even harder, and then 21 is really going to slam down and not allow that to go over at all, their signal. So the magic thing about these buttons, you know, if, on this software version, if I hold down the shift key and I click on one, all the buttons engage. Now that creates a weird kind of thing, and the meter will start reacting all crazy, sort of like backwards. It's sort of like a expander or whatever kind of thing. And they say it's sort of like you're you're, you're coming in around a 12 to 1 ratio, but it, it gets kind of crazy and it's got a whole different sound to it. And they've kind of done something like that within the software version as well. And you might want to play around with these attack and release times, like leave them to their quickest setting. And you almost get kind of a little distortion thing happening and some really coolness going on here. Now over in the meter section, pretty much the only thing I'm going to talk about is the gain reduction because that's where you want to be. So if I have my guitar playing, um, you'll see the amount of reduction taken off on the, the peaks and stuff like that. And these are just sort of like your VU output of the track. So let's put it on gain reduction. I'm going to just play this guitar track, just an acoustic guitar. And you can kind of see if, where this thing is going to start jumping around. I'm just going to put it back its, to its default settings because it's a cool place to start. So, and you'll see when these peaks come up like here and maybe over here, this, this will kind of push back a little bit more and probably nothing right here and probably nothing in this area here. So let's just take a listen. Actually, I'll bypass it first and let's just take a listen to a bar or two.
Okay, so that's just a flat acoustic guitar with no compression. So let's play. Let's put this bypass button back the other way. So now we're going to be hearing that compressor engaged in that track. So let's take a listen with this uh, factory default setting, which is again a good place to start. And right there, you can see the gain being reduced on those higher notes. So I will now increase the input, which is sort of like lowering my threshold, and I'm going to take this output and put it back 5 dB also. And that sort of just levels everything out. It's like you're adding 5 in, you're taking 5 out. So everything kind of stays at the same level. And I'm still leaving it at 4 to 1. You could see, you'll probably see this meter jump even more down as those peaks go by. So let's take a watch. Listen. Yep, you can see it really slammed down there. Okay, let's just put it on a 20 to 1 ratio and see how that looks. Keep in mind this is a VU meter, so it's an average. It's not really, you're not really seeing those, those, uh, peaks being slammed down really hard. It's still sort of a gentle uh, metering. But take a look at 20 to 1. Okay, so you, on this peak right here, you could really see it slam down hard on that. And I'm going to increase the attack or decrease the attack time and release time. And I'll leave it on 20 to 1 just so you can see what happens. So you can see on the peaks. It just grabs those and then immediately after they're over, just the compressor goes back. And it's doing very little to the in-between stuff. Now, I'm going to leave these knobs up and I'm going to hit the shift key and click on one of these. And we're going to go to the all button mode. And just take a listen and let's watch the meters, how they work in here and how they respond. Now the meter doesn't really look that drastic, but it sounds drastic. All the breathing, pick noises, everything, they're all very compressed. It sounds almost as they're, they're one now. So I hope that gives you a little idea how to use this plugin, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.